According to jo- Johan Rockström, we have only three years to reverse the growth in greenhouse gas emissions. If we are going to reach the goals set in the Paris Agreement, this was said in 2018. My question is, what if we fail to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement? Will it be too late for humanity to survive on Earth? And do we ultimately have to find another planet for our species? Okay, so I'm not very sure about what were the exact goals given in the Paris Climate Agreement. Unfortunately, nobody in uh, the leadership positions of, of various nations, especially the geopolitically powerful nations, nobody takes climate change seriously. Climate change is, uh, well, it's not taken seriously. Geopolitical goals are more important than climate change. And it's very clear that whatever goals were set in the Paris Climate Agreement are not going to be met. Greenhouse gas emission, emissions continue to uh, happen. And uh, global warming is, is a fact. So we are going to have continuing global warming. And in a century or two, the planet will be several degrees warmer than what it is today. That is going to happen. There is nothing that is being done to stop it. And it may even not be possible to stop it because the process of climate change through greenhouse gas emissions was set in motion at least two or three centuries ago with the industrial revolution in England and in the Western world. So that's where all the emissions came from. It happened for centuries. Today, they are trying to shift the blame to the to the developing countries, especially China and India. But the point is that we are already beyond (laughs) perhaps the point at which we can stop or or even stop or reverse the uh, climate change and global warming. Will will this make it impossible for humanity to survive on Earth? No, not at all. Humanity will will continue to survive. Humanity has always adapted and evolved. There have been terrible ice ages in the past. There have been uh, times of global warming as well in the past. Climate change is has always been there. The climate has always been changing. Right now it's happening because of man-made processes. But in the past it happened because of other things as well. Our ancestors... 65 million years ago, survived the worst weekend in living, I mean, in the past 100 years of 100 million years of of the Earth's history, the Chicxulub impact event, which wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs. There was a terrible climate change event that happened because of this impact event. There was a nuclear or climate winter that lasted about 10 years or so. There was no sunlight for that period of time. Almost all life, life was wiped out on the planet. But our ancestors, those little little shrew-like mammals, they survived that. So the point is that human beings are resilient. We will survive, but it won't be a good time for us. Life as we know it may not continue to exist. Our uh, lifestyles may have to change drastically. Maybe there could be... Uh, Maybe there could be population die-offs in certain parts of the world, in less privileged part of the, parts of the world. So these things may happen. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Uh, even if every nation were to try and stop this thing, which is not going to happen, even then we may be at best be able to slow climate change down or slow the global warming down. So I think it's currently an irreversible process. We are on track to see two or three degrees of warming in the next 50 to 100 years, maybe more, maybe more warming. I'm not sure. I've not studied the the, the literature, but it's going to happen. The the bigger problem is the proliferation of plastic in our oceans and in our water sources. Basically, what we are finding now is that even bottled water that is purified, etc., contains microplastic particles. And that is going to pose a long-term health hazard for us and for our descendants. We're basically poisoning everything with plastic. The Western countries started adopting plastic about 100 years ago. And they have this culture that is like a disposable culture. Everything is to be used once and then thrown away. And all of it was dumped into the oceans. And today we are paying the price of that. Today you have this enormous mountains of garbage and plastic floating around the oceans. So all these things are going to be a significant factor in the future of humanity. And we still don't know how it's going to affect us. 
so as of today this is something that cannot be changed the paris climate agreement whatever goals are there are not going to be met i think humanity will survive but the future is going to be very challenging do we have to will we have to find a different another planet well the only planet we have out there is mars and it's currently not inhabitable for human beings unless you are one of the very small billionaire class in which case you may be able to move there in the next 30 40 50 years but the common population of earth the average human being they are doomed <laughs> if something wrong something were to go wrong, wrong on the planet on our planet here so that is the situation we are in as of today